Dominic Tim wasn't meant to be at all. Uh, Sugita was simply sublime uh, on the day. Sugita is 29 years old, so he's not a, a spring chicken yes, by well, any means. Uh, he's been on for a while. For a while, but exactly. He just hasn't cut it. Exactly. But he's starting to show a lot, a lot of form uh, recently now because in this game, uh, he needed just 88 minutes uh, to defeat uh, Dominic Tim 6 2 and 7 5. So uh, Sugita advances uh, to the next round. Uh, of the Jerry Weber Open in Hull. Okay, we'll see how far he will go. He's ranked 52 mm -hmm. in the world, and hopefully he can really go far in this one. But we all know who the favourite and uh, uh, The it's, favorite uh, is going to play later, <laughs> later uh, today. But in the meantime, these other guys have to do their jobs. They have to, you know, keep advancing. Yep. You never know. There might just be an upset uh, in the offing uh, uh, on the horizon uh, for Roger Federer. But uh, I don't think it's going to happen. So, uh, so get advanced to the next round where he's going to take on American Dennis uh, Kudler. So... Uh, all the best to all the players at the Jerry Weber Open in Germany. From the tennis court, now let's go to the basketball court, where uh, it's that time of the year. where prospects, Draft night yeah, tonight. NBA prospects, <laughs> uh, they cannot wait for this one. This is the one they look forward to. I mean, yeah. all the best amateur basketballers uh, in America, especially, and, and some from around the world are looking forward to this night because this is the night that... All the teams uh, will get to, you know, draft uh, uh, players. And um, Cecilia, this is this is what these guys uh, live for. I That's mean, what we live for. they want to get into the NBA. Mm -hmm. There's no doubt about it. I mean, it's the best league in the world. And um, they're looking forward to the night. Yeah, you know how many players will leave college and all that, not even have opportunity to get drafted, mm -hmm. just get picked by I mean, the team. Yeah. But this one, having the opportunity to get picked tonight, I mean, knowing that you could just be number one prospect or two, uh, and any team can, it's, it's, it's fun, and it's something most of them dreamt about, you know, of course. that it was going to happen someday. Yeah. And when it happens, you know. I mean, uh, all that hard work <laughs> uh, that they put in, all yeah. those hours in the mm -hmm. gym, uh, shooting thousands mm -hmm. of shots, uh, mm -hmm. everything is going to come to uh, to a head uh, today uh, at the draft night. And some of the prospects, uh, the really top ones, I've been speaking ahead of tonight and they have um, expectations and they're all just excited and they cannot wait to be drafted into the NBA. That would be the greatest feeling, you know, to go back to my hometown, uh, you know, play you know, where I grew up. You know, I know that city, you know, you know just every, everywhere around there, you know, every, you know, a lot of the different restaurants. So I, I grew up there and, and seen it all. So to be able to come back, you know, play for them would be a, a, a great feeling and a great experience. Uh, and uh, I'll be definitely excited to do that. There's a lot of New York prospects, you know, I'm not the only one that's, that's, that's going to be in the draft, and it's just going to be a great moment to share with both I mean, and Raleigh. Well, Philadelphia, um, I mean, they're a playoff team, and I love to win, so it's me bringing that winning attitude to the team to definitely help them get back to the playoffs. Um, and they already have great pieces, so I feel like I can fit right in. It would be a big blessing, um, you know, just having that chip on your shoulder, carrying the nation behind you as a bonus. It's just a huge opportunity to show the world that, you know, that we're coming for, you know, the Miami people are coming, you know, we're just not only uh, a country of just track and field, we're also a country of basketball. You never know what's going to happen tomorrow, so I definitely have a, uh, if I was just able to come here, I mean, that would be, I mean, a great opportunity for me, but being able to play in the NBA period is you know, uh, something that's very special for me. Trey Young, there, uh, another uh, one of the prospects uh, looking at it to tonight. Uh, you also heard from DeAndre uh, Ayton, who's expected to go uh, to be picked at number one oh. by the Phoenix uh, Suns. Uh, the draft ceremony uh, will go down uh, later tonight at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn. And I wish all the guys all the best. And uh, this is, uh, just we're still on the uh, on this uh, uh, on this guys. Yes. These guys when they get drafted this year, they will be rookies uh, for the next season. And we saw. Some very, very uh, fantastic performances by rookies mm -hmm. this past this season. Passes, yeah. uh, this guy's name really ben comes Simmons to mind. Uh, ben Simmons. Uh, there's this guy in uh, Utah Jazz, Donovan Mitchell. Yeah, also. Oh, what a player. The, player the Celtics uh, forward, uh, Jason, Jason Tatum. Tatum. All rookies. <laughs> but you saw the way they performed yeah. in the playoffs. And it looked like they were playing like veterans. So it just tells you there's a lot of talent. Uh, uh, there's a massive Out pool there. in the college system there in, in, in the United States of America. And uh, uh, I, 
I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes <laughs> okay. some, some of them, for example, Trey Young, the Trae last Young, guy yeah. you listened mm -hmm. to, I mean, he's a very good player, but um, there are a lot of doubts about whether he can actually uh, cut it in the NBA. I mm -hmm. mean, uh, it's a different level in time. It's and, uh, bigger. Yeah, and so we'll see, we'll see how it pans we'll see out. We'll see how it pans because it's not just sometimes college basketball is different. It is. Because this time around, you're going into the bigger on the professional level. Mm. And if you can't really uh, train hard, work very hard because talent these days is usually not enough. So if you can train hard and work hard, sometimes it's always difficult for you to get in. Mm -hmm. Ben Simmons, who mentioned him, was one of those guys who didn't have to struggle at all. Mm -hmm. Straight, you know, rookie guys and they just were able to, you know, play along the big boys as mm -hmm. if they've been there, you know, yeah, veteran that, as you yeah. mentioned. So, well, we'll just see how, what these guys are going to bring we'll see, in we'll into see the team. We'll see what they're made of. Uh, DeAndre yeah. Hayton, uh, yeah. uh, good player as well, too. Mm -hmm. Massive, is about 7-1. And yeah. uh, Phoenix, horrendous season last year uh, so they're trying to, get a to build to get the, the franchise yeah. who so can actually so they want to get the number pressure one is going to be on him you know that it's a lot of pressure because if, if he gets drafted as number one now uh, that's going to be like Everyone that's the to like okay just, just take this team to the playoffs and turn around the <laughs> fortunes of the team which is not going to be uh that uh, straightforward except yeah. they get all the good players around him that can perhaps, actually help perhaps uh, phoenix Suns used to be really good back in the days mm -hmm. then when they had uh, steve nash and uh, Amaris Todd Meyer, I remember yeah, all the team okay. they were there. Right but now, they're not there anymore. Nah, they're trying to come back. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. With this one, maybe this might just be might the just turning be. point for them. Might just be. Right. Yeah, okay. All right, we'll go for a break now. We'll come back. Of course, the World Cup segment is next.